Hello and welcome to the Thursday, December 19th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. We got another diary by Brad and he's looking at the latest Emotet activity. Emotet, uh, very, very active, really also in the news uh, quite a bit. And the latest message that he's sort of taking apart here is actually very straightforward. One of those uh, typical invoice messages that then attaches a Word document. And of course, a macro in the Word document will then trigger additional downloads. Now, in this case, it appears that the malware was mostly used then to, again, spread uh, the infection further in by sending emails. Emotet is often used uh, to sort of install uh, these spam trojans then on the system it infects. Now, one trick that Emotet uses a lot uh, to appear more plausible is that it sort of injects itself into conversations that it finds on the infected system. And the German Office for Information Security is warning that they are aware of a number of systems affected in federal agencies that do just that. So now it appears the email is coming from some kind of government agency that you're currently communicating with. And it sort of looks like a reply to an email that you sent. Of course, that makes this very dangerous because now an unsuspecting victim may be more likely willing to, for example, enable macros on a document they receive. And well, if you're looking for something to do next week, why not patch Joomla if you're still using it? A new set of vulnerabilities here, including various SQL injection vulnerabilities that were patched with the latest update released this week. Not a lot of detail here what you can exactly do with the SQL injection. Its impact is rated as high, its severity as low. There are also some path disclosure vulnerabilities that are being fixed in this update. And one chapter that we have in our securing web applications class is about Unicode. And it's always a little bit hard to get across sort of some of the issues that you run into with Unicode, in particular when it comes to characters being mapped into each other in not always very predictable ways. Well, nice article here to help you out hacking GitHub with Unicode's dotless I. Uh, this article is exactly addressing this issue with a very nice example. So for web developers out there, certainly something that you want to take a look at. I'm just uh, working also on finishing up an article for tomorrow. Found a couple other interesting issues with DNS over HTTPS and how you're able to deduct uh, some of the content of these messages from traffic analysis. So article isn't out there yet, so no link uh, in the show notes yet, but should hopefully go live uh, sometime tomorrow, maybe late morning. That's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.